Hi, this is Irene, and these are a couple of supplies that I haven't been using much recently, and I thought I'd pull them out and give them a spin. This is the Kuratake Gonzai Tombi paint set of 24 colors. It was given to me as a hand-me-down from a relative. That was several years ago, early on in my painting journey. I remember having quite a bit of fun using this set. And yeah, it's been a while since I've used it, so I wanted to pull it out. I wanted to have some fun with the colors. Uh, partly to swatch them again. I actually did a video a couple of years ago where I swatched all of the colors in this set, and I'll link to that in the description. But I wanted to do it again uh, just for funsies, but I didn't necessarily want to make it a, a swatch chart, so to speak, and I didn't intend to label the colors or anything. So what I did was I sketched out uh, with a luminance color pencil. I sketched out some leaves just in a pattern, uh, filling the page uh, to make sure that I could fit all 24 colors in the arrangement I wanted. So that's why I pre-arranged the leaf pattern. Otherwise, I would have just improvised. But I did want to make sure that I could fit all of the colors. And this is a sheet of Arches Rough. I thought it would be fun to put these down on some texture. The brush I'm using is a number six round Neptune uh, from Princeton. And I chose this brush because I, I wanted a nice, thirsty brush. This whole thing was a lot of fun. I, I really encourage you, anyone uh, who enjoys watercolors, to really, uh, every once in a while, you know, just play with your paints. Just do it for fun. It doesn't always have to be a planned out, project. I mean, if you've got a hankering to lay down some color, you know, do it. Don't worry about it not looking great or impressing anybody. I mean, <laughs> this isn't something I'd pull out and show people normally, but obviously I'm going to share it here since, you know, it's all content, and maybe it might inspire someone else to just kind of have some fun with their paints. Now, your idea of fun and my idea of fun could be totally different, and I'm kind of curious. I, I wish I could see how other people would approach this kind of um, exercise. I imagine, you know, some abstract forms or maybe some cute little animals. So I don't know if you've heard, <laughs> what do they call this? They call this uh, spilling the tea. I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube, uh, a couple of art tubers who have shown Kuratake's set of 24 new colors. That's right new colors, 24 of them, and apparently it's inspired by Art Nouveau. Now, as far as I know, this set is not available yet here in the U.S., or at least not readily available, and I've looked. Of course, by the time this video is up, that may have changed, but uh, you can find the information about that set if you go to the Japanese Kuratake website, and I'll add a link to there in the description. The set looks gorgeous. Now, I am not normally into pale colors or 
pastel-y colors or uh, and this set uh, has some pale colors in it but as a whole taken all together they all go together so well and it, the palette is just um really eye-catching for me personally personally um because it's uh they're muted colors and i can totally understand the art nouveau inspiration i am a, a total fan of art nouveau and of uh, uh many things from the victorian era but yes muted colors very natural looking considering that the regular Kuratake sets like this 24 set that I'm using here are usually very reasonably priced. I'm hoping that this new set uh, will also be reasonably priced because I really want to get my hands on it. Now, apparently with this addition of 24 new colors to their Kansai lineup, that brings the number of colors to 100. And I saw that they have, uh, at least uh, in a limited capacity, a commemorative boxed set containing all 100 of their Gonzai paints. It's comprised of, like I think it's four wooden trays that are stacked. Uh, it's a very attractive packaging. And it includes all of the regular Gonze colors, but also the shimmers and the metallics and whatnot. Now, I think, I think that item is in the hundreds of dollars, so that's not something I'm expecting to get, which is fine. With the majority of this footage, I did uh, speed it up to... Uh, I think 300%. I can be a slow painter. Many people enjoy watching the process in real time. I wouldn't want to subject anyone to that kind of <laughs> a snail's pace uh, action. Now, it was very colorful, but it wasn't looking how I had imagined. And I did want to fill up a little more of the negative space. All that white was bugging me. So I pulled out a couple of my uh, Koi watercolor brushes. Two colors, uh, specifically. Now, th these were given to me by my sister. And uh, there are six colors in the set, uh, all shades of gray. And again, this is the Koi brand. Um, and I chose two. The lightest one I used first. And I, I think I've been using that one the most because that was pretty much on its last legs. And I believe I did pretty much use it up um, finishing off this piece. But... Uh, also, I used a darker, well, a medium shade of gray as well. I think it's a neat look. I mean, it's a little more interesting than just the color swatches. And yeah, I'm really glad I decided not to label the colors because that would have been uh, a bit busy looking, I think. But again, there was still quite a bit of white left over. And with this piece, I ugh, I couldn't bear it. I couldn't handle it. So I went back in using the very last of that lightest shade of gray and just did squiggly lines in the blank spaces, just filling it up as best as I, as I could. Oh, also from Kuratake, uh, and I believe these are new as well, is a line of fountain pen inks. Uh, I think it's called Ink Cafe. I don't know if the line is new or if it's just these colors that are new. Uh, I, had, I had not heard of them before, but uh, apparently these um, six new colors are inspired by the Meiji era in Japan. 
Now, the Meiji era, I believe, is roughly from uh, 1860 to 1912. To me, I, I see that whole time period as the Victorian era, even though technically I think 1912 is more considered Edwardian era. Personally, I lump Edwardian and late Victorian together, which, you know, might bug some people, but that's that's how I see it. Now, I don't know how color plays into that time period, but I just know that the colors they have, the six colors they have in that series are really pretty, with several that really stand out to me. So that's got me excited too. I'm happy to share this little coloring exercise. It's great having different kinds of paints and sets and brands, but sometimes uh, things get lost in the cracks, right? It's like this Kuratake Gonzai Tombi set. I've always had fun with it. I enjoy using it, but a lot of times I forget I have it. So until next time, have some fun with your colors. It might be just the thing you need. So stay artsy, my friends. Oh, sorry. This is a slow... <laughs> This is a slow day for me today. This is a take it slow day. So if I'm sounding a bit low energy, it's because I am. 